YouTube. What's up? I'm gonna mod some more clippers today. I got a video for you. We're gonna be hooking up these bad boys right here. Good old wall seniors cordless. We're gonna be swapping that blade out for the Andy's Masters blade. We're gonna be using the Filthy Blends uh, lever bracket and that mod attachment. So uh, if you have these clippers and you got this, this actual mod kit, please follow along step by step from start to finish. This way it's done right. Check it out. Here's a quick overview of all the tools you are going to need to make this mod work. All right, first and foremost, make sure you have your Andis blade. Here we're gonna use the uh, the actual fade blade, the very thin blade that comes with it, and the bottom, bottom blade that goes with it. Make sure you have your actual um, Filthy Blends attachment for the bottom cutter blade to go on your wall, seniors. Same thing with the actual bracket that the top blade moves on, all right? It's your lever bracket right here, all right? This is modded out. As you can see, the extra holes here take different screws and that's how the blade gets, gets accepted onto the actual clipper. You gotta make sure you have a number two Phillips bit, all right? That's your average size. One is real thin, three is too big. Number two, and make sure you have your clippers. This case we're using the seniors i'm pretty sure this will work no different if you're using the magic clips but again i'm using the seniors so here we go let's get into this now first thing i would recommend to do is take the bottom blade on your andis your actual andis bastard blade and we're going to have to pull this little bracket off of here that's really just pressure fit into these two holes okay i basically just kind of put this up against my stomach here brace it and you can kind of push it into the hole and pop that bad boy out, all right? Be careful when you're doing this. There's really no good way unless you find a good way. But as you can see, with a little bit of pressure, this bad boy is out, all right? That piece can go off to the side. You don't really need it. As long as you have this blade, just like this, you are now good to move on, all right? Okay, step number two. First thing we're gonna do, we're gonna take this blade off of the actual seniors. Just unscrewing these two screws, super simple. Almost too easy. It's probably the easiest part of this whole mod right here. Put that blade to the side, take this bottom blade off, put it to the side. Now, we are going to take this this lever off here and it's going to pull this bracket the sliding bracket is going to come out also we're going to do those both at the same time so unscrew this it's a very fine thread so find yourself uh unscrewing and unscrewing and unscrewing until it comes off keep that together you don't want that to fall apart all right uh you don't want to have to put it back together but that's the way it looks put that over there now you're free to pull this bracket off all right, now you can see how the clipper looks without a bracket. Super easy. Take your existing bottom blade holder off. It pops right out. Put that to the side. Now you have disassembled what you need to disassemble to make this work. Now we're gonna pop some parts on. Now we're gonna grab the Filthy Blends modification bracket here Open that bad boy up. Like so. This is the actual piece you get. Okay. The side. One side's, you know, it's filled in. One side has a hole in it. That's the side that matches this side here. Okay. The hole goes on that side. You basically slide that bracket right in. All right. See how it slides back and forth? That's where it's going. Match it up with the hole, get your lever, pop it back in there. This is going to be super easy because you, you, you kept your lever, you know, all the pieces together. So you just got to pop it back in, match it up, see how I can move that in this little notch, just match it up with the hole, and then tighten it up. Almost too simple, guys. This is almost too simple. All right, now you have the bracket on. See how it moves back and forth? That is installed. Don't worry about the tension. 
We'll set that later when the blade's on top. Now you can get your new bottom blade bracket from Filthy Blends. It has two screws meant for the Andis Master Blade. Put those to the side where the blade's at. Keep those together. This bad boy is now gonna sit in this channel. You see, now you can see real good, all right? That's gonna sit right there on top of these two prongs. So you have to get it on top of the prongs and then slide this tab under your under your lever bracket here, make things a little easier. And you're gonna line these two sides up inside that bracket that I'm showing you right there. And just press it down. It pops in. It stays on its own. That's how you know you did it right. Your next move is to grab Andis Masters bottom blade right here and put that on there. It's going to fit right into the two circles. It's all pressure fit. Look at that. Perfect. It's a perfect fit. Doesn't get any better. Grab your top blade, and now you can pop it on there. Match it up with the holes. See the holes on the inside when I move that around? Put one screw in. You're going to snug it up. You're not going to over tighten it. You're going to get it just enough. Get the next one. Pop it in there too. Magnetic. All right, now both screws are in there, blade's loose. Now we're just gonna tighten it up because we're gonna zero gap it at the same time. <laughs> Once you're done, now you've gotten them good. Make sure you tighten up your lever, loosen up your lever however you like it, to your liking. I like it a little, kind of like medium, personally. All right, all right, that's the feel. Let's turn them on. They even sound the same, they sound perfect. Still gotta oil them. I like to every once in a while too, throw a little oil on the channel. Keep them moving freely. All right, right in here. And the one in here. Just kind of move it around a bit. I always, always kind of Wipe them off a bit after you're done spraying them, especially if you're not going to be using them for a bit. I got another two days before I cut hair again, so. Polish those bad boys up, nice and clean. They sound good, they look good. They're fresh, they're zero gapped. Can't argue. All right, now if any of you guys had trouble with this mod, I'm sure this video should have helped you out. You guys should be able to walk away with your master's blade definitely on top of your seniors or your magic clips, all right? And it should work perfectly. I already cut with these. They were great. They zero gap, gap great. Um, the lever, everything is nice and smooth. The power stayed the same. Uh, big ups to these right here. I give them an A+. Plus. Definitely a 10 out of 10. Knock us out the park with a perfect little mod here. Not only for the top blade, for the bottom blade. Got to give respect where it's due, guys. Filthy blends. Filthy underscore blends. Uh, you guys get a chance, follow them. I have a link in the description. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe, please. Uh, I look forward to making more videos for you guys, so just be on the lookout. Peace.